Hey, do you guys want to see what this IDF agent had to say about uh, Aaron Bushnell? Yeah, let's listen. My first reaction is this. It was absolutely insane how he, like, stood the whole time. That was crazy. I didn't know how that's all humanly possible. Um, again, not to put this uncouth, but he's a champ at fucking burning a I mean, that sounds bad, but he did it really good. Does that bad sound bad? Hilarious. Dude, I can't believe that I gave this man so many chances. This IDF comedian. This is an IDF sanctioned comedian right here. Makes sense now, right? Makes sense. I can't believe I gave this man so many chances. I can't believe I thought that he was a real person. This is the fakest motherfucker in the bunch. We have to make levity of things. Jeez, that sound bad that he was really good. I mean, but I mean that, a, I mean that as, a, as a compliment. Um, what the fuck are you guys angry about, you weirdos? I'm li what did I do? My God, stop. They're just saying, all I hear is Ethan no, but I don't understand what I've even fucking said. Oh, chewing? Yeah, I'll stop that. Maybe they just mean, maybe they're just talking about the chewing. Could that be? No. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, it was the chewing. It's the chewing. It's not just hissing on a hero's grave. Someone who actually stood up for something. Not someone who said, well, I'd like to be a comedian and, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it any other way by, like, merit. So I guess I will be the state-sanctioned IDF comedian on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, what did I even say that to mean? Like, give me a fucking break. Holy shit. Isn't that I do it because he wanted people to talk about it? Like, like that's what I'm doing. My and he, pr he plays this dumb act like, oh, what did I say? What did I say? This man knows exactly what he's doing. This is the millionth time he's done this. Do not give him another chance. Point is this. First of all, I was st uh, stunned by the way that he... Stood through the whole thing. I mean, shit, that was wild, um, and really showed his result, his true resolve to to protest in that way. I can only imagine that's just a yeah. horrific way to die. So pretty wild. That's true. You could never fathom it, is what you should have said. That being said, <coughs> I do not believe that it is good for people to be um, romanticizing or encouraging i know it's not i know people aren't doing that but like the way people are romanticizing it is kind of fucked up in my opinion the man you know what's fucked up is romanticizing bombing children and pretending like you don't have a stake in it like your family isn't there like you didn't go there and become an idf comedian <laughs> and now you owe your entire career to them ethan call for a ceasefire ethan ethan call for a ceasefire do another jokey ceasefire. It was hilarious the last time. He killed himself. And I don't think we should ever talk about that issue with any kind of uh, reverence. Because, let's be real, the amount of people... Bro, this man is disgusting. People online who are talking about it in this, like, wonderful, uh, almost like, I don't know describe it. People are... Um, I'm trying to where I put it. People are idolizing him. Bro, this man said no one is listening to me i don't want to continue doing this thing that you are fine perpetuating you don't care you don't care that the decapitated babies weren't real you don't care that al shifa was bombed by your employer <laughs> you don't care about that shit because you benefit from it you benefit from it and you don't see that other people are suffering because you aren't suffering currently. That's, that's all we learned from your conversations with Hassan is that you are unwilling to see anyone suffering but your own. So yeah, a man who had nothing else and he said, I'm not willing to hurt anyone else. The only thing I can do is... <laughs> he didn't hurt anyone else, Ethan. And you can pretend, you can you can play like words don't matter, blah, the blah, blah, blah. I'm just the court jester here. La -da 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 -da. La -di -da -di -da. I'm a distraction for the idea for me. Like, dude, have some fucking balls for once in your life. Stand up. Say this stuff isn't right. But you never will because you don't have half of the courage that Aaron Bushnell had in his pinky. In just this part, just just the fingertip, just the tip of his nail, the white part of his nail had more courage than Ethan Klein will ever have in his life. Well, going to, more people are going to kill themselves. I mean, that's just a matter of fact. It's just, there's just more people going to kill themselves. I don't think so. More, dude, what are you talking about? We live in a fucking police fascist state. 
everyone is dying. No one can live. What are you talking about? Except for you. You and the uber wealthy. You, you motherfuckers. You don't even share profits of your show that is made by more than just you with your crew. And you make them watch this buffoonery? Suicide's funny. I don't think it's anything that we should encourage. I think it's pretty much always bad. And while I can appreciate his dedication, I mean, to put it mildly, you know, uh, if I, I can appreciate his dedication um, and his conviction, right? I mean, for not like uh, unbelievable. Self-immolation is literally suicide. He killed himself. Sorry, I don't know what that, that's another weird dialogue. They go, no, no, no. Everybody goes, yeah, we agree, suicide's bad, get help. But then they go, unless you're doing it for a good cause, then you can kill yourself. I'm like, no, this is not a fucking, this is not something to romanticize ever. Sorry. You should 100% do more research on self-immolation as protest. Yeah, you know who does? Yeah, dude, this man's disgusting. He, and he thinks he's not doing any harm, too. Look at him. Self-immolation, fucking um, people who are like Monks. under tyrannical rule, who have literally no way for their voices to be heard other than that. Monks. Monks do it. Monks do it because it is a powerful demonstration of mind over body. It's a powerful demonstration of being so convicted to something that you're literally willing to light yourself on fire over it. And yeah, you buffoon. Oh, people who do self-immolation are under tyrannical rule. So what the fuck does that tell you about the way that we live? What does that say to you? What does that say to how Aaron Bushnell felt? You idiot. You're saying the words. <laughs> you moron. I want to know if there's one fucking thing in your life, Ethan, that you'd be willing to do that for. Do you care about anything that much? The answer is no. So yeah. A lot of people are looking at him in awe because it's horrifying, it's brutal, it's scary. But I think a lot of people recognize in themselves that, that you know, like, th anyone is capable of this. This could happen to anyone. Not capable of it, but anyone can get there. And it resonates with us be so much because this is how we fucking feel on the inside. And it's because no one is fucking listening to us. So this man's career is dead. We called it a month ago. Stop listening to him. Him and Ela, they work for the IDF. They are the motherfucking New York Times journalist who is a fucking liar and writes lies about Hamas and never ever wrote an article for a newspaper before that. That's this. This is a comedian who's never done comedy except for the IDF. So, get fucked. H3's dead. Fucking disgusting. I can't believe I gave this man so many chances. Give a lick candles on a birthday cake 25 exactly and then we take One big breath to blow them out with our lungs Now we're starting different fires Truth catches quick and it outruns lives Speaking liberation and they'll say we're speaking in tongues Make you turn your head.